Minnesota's film and television industry is in the midst of a comeback. As our Barrett Leone explains, new legislation is making it more appealing for movie makers to call our state home. The Minnesota film industry Set, see, camera. Set. And action. is having a moment. It's our job to help people understand what we already know, that Minnesota is the best place in the country to live and to work and to do business and to make movies. Wow. Gotta get caught in heat. And to help with that understanding, some incentive. Minnesota legislation established a film production tax credit in 2021, allocating $25 million to the industry each year until 2030. It's certainly a level that, that is causing the industry to look at us, um, which they weren't before. The kids are good in their way. Since then, it's brought a number of projects to the land of 10,000 lakes, but those in the industry are even more excited for what's to come. There's many other people that live in Minnesota, believe it or not, that travel outside of Minnesota for work because there's no work in Minnesota yet but there will be in 2025. It's why casting director Bill Marinella made Minneapolis and Duluth his destination for casting calls this weekend and plans to start an S corporation in the state next year. Everybody here is so welcoming. I love Minnesota. I really do. And it's not just Marinella. There's going to be quite a few films that might uh, pick up a series or do partial movies or entire films here like they did in the past, such as Grumpy Old Men. A Minnesota moment, poised to become a major movie destination. I just cannot wait to see what happens next. In Minneapolis, Barrett Leone, WCCO News.